Hey, Takumi, do you like me? No, he likes me. What you talking about? He absolutely likes me. Okay, okay. I like all of you. Can't we all get along? Not really. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you like me that much? You're the cutest girl I've ever met. Uh, do you want to go out with me? Really? Yeah. That's not fair. Wow, women are so easy to please. They'll do whatever you want if you give them a little attention. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have been born handsome. That is Takumi Fukuda. He's a tall, handsome junior in high school and has been popular since he was a child. Shut up! I'm trying to read my book! A week later... I'm done with you. You're cute, but you're also boring. Let's break up. What? Why? We've only just started dating. I don't think I'm good at being tied down. I'm not cut out for it. Don't you? I'll be whatever you want me to be. Just please don't break up with me. I'm sorry. Please don't take it personally. Uh, the decision was the result of a battle between the selfish Takumi and the kind Takumi inside my head. Convinced that he could get away with anything, he was a scumbag who treated women like objects and discarded them with no hesitation. A few days later... I'm Takumi's ex-girlfriend! It's great that you got the chance to go out with him. Having gone out with Takumi is great for your social status. What a bunch of dumb girls. <laughs> Even with all of his misdeeds, his popularity didn't diminish. Being his ex-girlfriend became a status symbol. One day... Ouch! Are you okay? Yeah, I just cut myself on this textbook. Oh no, you're bleeding! I'll lick the blood off for you. Lick it? No, I'll lick it! Ugh, shut up! Cutting your finger with a textbook is proof that you never open it to study. I can't take it anymore! Hey! <coughs> her name is Sayuri Misono. Kids at school often made fun of her because of her boring appearance. How kind. A band-aid with a heart pattern on it? How tacky. <laughs> what you doing? Aren't you a bit out of your depth trying to appeal to Takami? Sayuri walked away immediately, and Takami felt a rush in his heart that he'd never felt before. That night... <sighs> I can't believe she gave me such a cute band-aid for such a small cut. Sayuri must be in love with me. I'm in love with her too. The next day, Takumi called Sayuri to the back of the school building. Sayuri, you like me, don't you? I'm in love with you. Be my girlfriend. Huh? Don't you dare call me by my first name. Why would I go out with an idiot like you? I just want to read my book in peace. I can't stand it when you and your cronies make so much noise around me every day. Yesterday, you made such a fuss over cutting your finger on a textbook. I gave you a band-aid so you would shut up and get on with your life. Don't get the wrong idea. Don't ever talk to me again. Why not? You could be my girlfriend. Don't get carried away just because you're good looking. I hate you for being a charlatan who looks down on women. Hmm, she's a different type of woman. If she was annoyed, but still gave me a band-aid, it must mean that she's interested in me, right? The opposite of like is not dislike, it's indifference. He was so positive. Despite his words, his pride was torn to shreds, and he missed school the next day. Dang it! The best way to change people's minds is to improve yourself. I'll show my transformation and make Sayori fall in love with me. The next morning. Good morning, everyone. What's, What's wrong? wrong? I've decided to turn my life around and become a serious person. From now on, I'm going to live only to please Sayuri. What, that, that plain girl? girl? I'm leaving you girls now. Uh, thanks for everything. Oh, oh no, no, that's, that's not, not like, like you, Takumi. Good morning, Sayuri. Stop being creepy and call me Misono-san. 
Are you going crazy because I rejected you? What are you talking about? I've awakened to true love thanks to you. I've decided that you are the only one for me, so I've parted ways with all other girls. I hate you! You and your cronies are so annoying! Stay away from me! I just want to live a peaceful student life. Ah, the chime that separates two people who love each other. I give you my soul. You're an idiot. He became a different person at school. I wonder what's wrong with him. He usually dozes off during class, but he's taking notes so seriously now. What's so good about that plain looking girl? I feel sorry for Takumi. He must have been brainwashed. Let's hurry up and rescue him from that girl. But... I wonder if people can really change that easily. I'm sure we'll come back to us soon enough. I hope so. Sayuri, I still love you. Please go out with me. <sighs> Are you embarrassed? Please accept my love. Uh, uh, he's so annoying. I should never have given him that band-aid. If I ignore him, surely he'll give up and go back to his cronies. The next day. Good morning. Please, have a seat. I told you yesterday that I still don't like you. Would you please stay away from me? I'll keep doing this every day until my love is reciprocated. I feel like I've been shot through the heart by one of Cupid's arrows. You're such an idiot. I can't stand you. She thought he'd give up soon, but two weeks later... Nothing had changed. Two weeks later, Sayuri was troubled and went to her homeroom teacher for advice. Teacher, please help me! Takumi... Takumi's always following me around and won't leave me alone! I can't get him to stop! Why is he doing that? Actually... Oh dear... My homeroom teacher said he'd keep an eye on Takumi, so I shouldn't have to worry about him anymore. Now I can enjoy a quiet school life. The next morning, Takumi was called in to see his homeroom teacher after the first period. The more obstacles that are in the way of our love, Sayori, the more I want you. I won't give up until we're together. <sighs> How many times do I have to tell you? You're bothering me. You were warned by your homeroom teacher to leave me alone. I'm serious. I don't care what anyone says. I'm gonna keep trying to win you over. Sayuri had no choice but to run away from the classroom at recess and hide in the women's restroom. This is the only place where I feel safe. It's nice to be liked, but he's so persistent that it makes me not like him. Uh, Sayuri? Oh no! You can't come in here! It's the women's restroom! <sighs> Oh, sorry. Then, Takami stopped approaching Sayuri. Huh? He's not coming up to me today. Phew. Thank goodness. Now I can relax. I can read my book in peace. Three days later. What? He's been pestering me, telling me how much he loves me for so long, and now he doesn't even want to speak to me anymore. Maybe I was a little too harsh. My strong words may have upset him. Sayuri was happy to get back to her normal school life, but she found herself getting sadder and sadder as every day went by. Um, have you been feeling okay lately? I'm sorry about everything! I've been stubbornly following you around and trying to force my feelings on you! It's no wonder you hate me! <laughs> I won't do anything to bother you again. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for all the terrible things I said to you. So, let's start by being just friends. What? Sayuri, are you sure you want to do this? I'm so happy! Yeah, I look forward to getting to know you. No, absolutely not! Why would you want to go out with that boring girl instead of me? It's only a matter of time before she becomes his girlfriend. Don't worry, they don't get along. They can't even be friends. I don't know. 
What do you think? Their personalities kind of complement each other. Maybe they'll become a couple. We'll just have to wait and see. Dang it! Don't say such things! Two months later, Takami and Sayuri had grown much closer as friends, and he once again asked her out. Sayuri, please be my girlfriend. I'll be your girlfriend, but under some conditions. What are the conditions? Condition one, never be late for school without a good reason. Condition two, do not get involved with any other girls. Condition three, you must go to a college that is the same level or higher than the one that I go to. Condition four, we must have a platonic relationship until we get married. Also, please, let's just speak to each other casually. Okay, got it. I'll do my best to keep you happy, despite all of those difficult conditions. And I'll work hard to improve myself for you too, Takami. First, I'll make myself more beautiful. You say such sweet things. <laughs> Let's make it a friendly competition. It became known throughout the school that the plain-looking, boring girl and Takami had become a couple. Hey, how can I become as beautiful as you? You admit that I'm more beautiful than you? I'm good at schoolwork, but I don't know anything about fashion. I have no sense of style. Please help me! It's annoying that my favorite boy chose you, but I'll do my best to help you, for talking me. At the very least, I hope you don't become his ex-girlfriend too. Thank you! Two weeks later, Sayuri and Takumi went on their first date. Takumi! Wow, you look different. Uh, you look so cute. I've been working hard, but clearly you have been too. Thank you. Sayuri, I... I can't take it anymore. You're so cute. I, I, I want to hug you. Is, is that okay? Can I hug you? Uh, sure. Hey, can I kiss you? Not yet. Are you sure? I, I may find it very difficult to keep to condition four. Maybe I'll change my mind. Really? Sayuri let Takami keep his hopes up, but in the end, they kept their love pure. And after graduating from college, they got married. You're lying, right? You're such a serious person now. Were you really like that before? I can't believe it. Is it true? It's true. Ask your mother. Mom, is it true what Dad said? Why are you telling her this, Takami? You're embarrassing yourself. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Thanks to you, I'm not a lousy idiot anymore. That's right, Mom. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm jealous of you and Dad. As you might expect, I'm Miyuki, Takami and Sayuri's daughter. That was an old story that my father decided to tell me when I came of age. I thought that my parents must have had a good relationship from the start. I was surprised to find out what an idiot my father was, but I learned that sometimes people change for the better when they meet the right person. I hope I'll meet someone one day too, and have a great relationship like my mom and dad. <laughs>